Welcome to Cooking with Dad. Today we're going to do spare ribs. We're using a recipe from Barb. I don't know where she got it, but it's one of our favorites. Barbecued ribs in the oven. So the first thing to do, turn the oven on at uh, 350 for three hours. Check the oven first, see, make sure there's nothing in there. And take out the top rack. Sorry for the noise. This is a pretty simple recipe. You're basically going to make a barbecue sauce, pour it over the ribs, and then bake the ribs in the oven, stirring them until they're caramelized and nice and gooey and dewy. And I usually serve them with rice. So, first thing is to make the sauce. So I'll post the recipe down in the notes. We need one and a half cups of ketchup. I should have got more ketchup, but... So one and a half cups of ketchup, that's one cup. One and a half cups of barbecue sauce, and I usually just use any barbecue sauce that I find in the fridge. Need one large chopped onion. So we take the onion. Now, when they talk about a large onion, that's usually like a, a large, regular um, cooking onion. If you like the big white onions or Spanish onions, a half is probably probably good enough. And we'll cut that up. Chop that up. you don't quite cut through, you can peel the onion peel off, and then that gives you a spot that you can then just peel all the outside layer off relatively easily. Now, there we go. All gone. Now these onions will basically disintegrate in the sauce when you're cooking it, so you don't really have to worry about whether they're chopped up finely or pretty or whatever, just chop them up. A good knife is always a great thing to have. I like this petite chef knife, it's a little shorter than the long ones. I cut that, we can turn this and get the other direction. There we go, chop them up all nice. Throw them in. Okay. So then we add the spices, and I got all the spices to start with. So there's a whole bunch of different kinds. They add a little flavor here and there. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. Just don't put it in. So we need a half a teaspoon of sage, there we go, a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, I like nutmeg, it's got a really nice smell and taste, yeah, a teaspoon of dry mustard, so I guess two half teaspoons make a teaspoon, right? Nice. 
bass. Oops. Two. Okay. Two tablespoons of vinegar. Vinegar. tablespoons of brown sugar and again you know this isn't baking so you don't have to be exact it doesn't really matter you just throw in a couple of spoonfuls and away you go that's why I never bake because I'm never that exact some garlic a pinch of garlic We'll just do it that way, a little pinch. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. So again, I use the real lemon if I don't have a lemon, which I don't right now. So we'll throw in two tablespoons of lemon juice. That's really good. What else? Two tablespoons of honey. You can see there's a lot of stuff goes in here. Okay? Two tablespoons of honey. Okay, and some sweeteners. Perfect. Tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And a pinch of cayenne pepper. Again, you can use as little or as much of this as you like. Just a little touch to add some flavor. Tabasco sauce, a couple of squirts of it. Four, four drops, the recipe says. Quarter cup of pineapple juice. I finally was able to find pineapple juice in small cans, so I don't have to open a big can of pineapples and pour off the juice, which I used to do. And a quarter cup of orange juice. So I don't have a, any orange juice. I'm just going to slice this uh, orange and squeeze the juice out of it. One orange gives you about a quarter cup. That'll be perfect. Ah, there we go. Great. Got a couple seeds in there I need to get out. Okay, and that's all the ingredients. You've got all your ingredients in your pan, and you want to stir those up. Stir them up well. Now, if you like, you could make this sauce in a bowl, and then pour it over your ribs once you have cut them. I find that it works just as well prepare the sauce in the same pan that you're going to put the ribs. Let's stir that all up, and that's your basic sauce. Okay, we'll give it a little taste. Mmm, that's good. Try to get a new spoon now. Not allowed to put double dip with the spoons. Okay. That's the sauce. Let's prepare the ribs. So you need two racks of ribs. I like to get um, 
baby back ribs. You can get St. Louis ribs there, okay, too. The back ribs give you a nice, easy cut to um, make when you do it. Now, the ribs come with a white skin on the back. I like to remove that. So to do that, you simply take a spoon or a knife or a fork and use the back end of it. You slide it underneath and as you slide it underneath you'll be able to get your finger in there and pull it right off. We can now then see the ribs, the bone, and the meat. The bone and the meat. So the, all you want to do is take your knife, put it in between the two bones, and cut. Straight. Continue that down throughout all the ribs. Throwing them in the pan as you go. Feel the spot where the meat is. At the end, sometimes you have to be a little more careful because they might be close together or thin. So that works. Wash your hands again. Now, if you uh, are like me, sometimes the onion um, will get under my skin and leave a scent. So, if you wash them with soap and water and rub them against aluminum, like an aluminum sink, that actually will take the smell away. So that's a good thing to do. Well done. Now we just stir these up. Get them all coated with the sauce. Now as they cook, they will render the fat and the fat will become part of the barbecue sauce and it will caramelize and make for wonderful Tasting. Stir them all up, get them well coated. There we go. Doesn't that look good even now? Try to spread them out. There we go. Put them in the oven for two to three hours, you should be able to tell when they're done. You don't want them to be burnt, but you want the sauce to thicken and start to stick to the ribs. You'll be able to tell by the looks. There we go. Check the time, 4.30, so we know when they'll be ready. Somewhere between 6.30 and 7 probably. These need about, uh, just about, uh, they're just about done. Say a half hour more. You see how the juice is all thickened up? The bones are all caramelly. They're nice. Hmm? Maybe 20 minutes. Okay. 
The last thing is the rice. I like to serve it with Japanese rice, which is the uh, sushi rice, which you cook one cup of rice to one and a quarter cups of water. You have to remember that the rice needs to be rinsed before you put it in your pot. Now I have a rice cooker which makes it easy, but you can just cook it in any regular sauce. We'll uh, talk to you later once I take the ribs out of the oven. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. 